Hello everyone, my name is Isaac Pacheco and this is My name is Miguel Pina. The, the, our future career project we did it is social worker, we, which is, which is what he wants to become, and teaching, which is what I want to do in my future career. A social worker is someone who helps individuals, groups, and families prevent and cope with problems in their everyday lives. The reason why I want to become a social worker is to help the community around me either by helping them cope with their problems or prevent them. To me, this is more about self-fulfilling work than financially driven. The feeling of helping the people in need is something that money can't buy. Making the world better one life at a time is something that inspires me to go through my own struggles. My inspiration was seeing how tough it is for my sisters to grow up without a mom, so I wanted to help kids that were less fortunate than me. So, teaching. This is what I want to become, really. And what led me to want to become a teacher is to teach future generations and be able to write, correct them in, the, in their path, you know? Like, be able to guide them to the right path where they should go and support them along the way. And the reason I wanted to become one, though, is because I had a bad teaching, uh, bad experience as a student in elementary school where the teacher, did, where the teacher didn't really uh, teach as well. And I don't, I don't wish other kids to go through that. Here's just a rundown of the tw uh, 21st century skills that we have. Uh, me, the one that I possess is emotional intelligence. This skill I grew over the past years of my life, being forced to deal with emotional situations and recently learning how to control my emotions in a much healthier and positive way has led me to understand what I am feeling during that certain moment and how to not let it affect me too much. Another skill I possess is reading and writing. For as long as I can remember, I can read and write. I've been reading and writing since age four and know how to write fluent cursive. Also, with all of my courses in college forced me to engage in active reading and writing, my reading and writing skills is a lot higher than the average person with increased skills in my grammar, sentence structuring, and vocabulary. My skills rely on leadership and decision making. This, these two skills are really like necessary for one another. One, because uh, a leader needs to make good decisions in whether it's a bad situation or a good situation. Yeah, thanks. The skills that we both share together is the first one, which would be communication. We use this skill mostly every day to ask for help either with our peers or for our professors. Social skills, just like communication, we have both used social skills to ask questions so we can understand and evaluate when a problem arises. Since we both have worked, our social skills have led us to have better customer service skills. Collaboration, we can work with mostly anybody due to our patience and understanding that a goal must be complete. This allows us to be able to complete teamwork tasks more effectively. Now, what does a social worker necessarily do? A social worker helps the troubled community find a solution to their problems with everyday life and provide different kinds of psychotherapy services. Social workers will recognize the communities and the people in them that need help. Then they need to understand the client's overall situation that they're going through to help steer them in the right direction. If a client is struggling either with food, shelter, or overall health, the best course of action to take is to do proper research on how they can advocate for their clients to help them to find the necessary community resources to aid them through these obstacles. A social worker requirement is to immediately respond to crisis situations such as child abuse, elderly abuse, and mental health freakouts. A social worker duty is to have all these case files documented and recorded. What does a teacher do? What a teacher does at its job is evaluate the students to see their weakness and their strength. After evaluating that thing, they, plan, they make a plan to be able to focus on the weakness of the students to be able to overpass them and their strengths so they can do better. They basically, the, the teacher's job is basically to improve the student's way of thinking and viewing things in life. Now, we all are somewhat aware of the kinds of social workers that they are, but what are the main types of social workers that they are? Okay, so there are four different kinds that usually fit the requirement. Family and children social workers. These social workers help family keep a positive family dynamic. Their job is to make sure every part of the family is getting what they need down to proper housing, food, and applying them for benefits. They also make sure no kid is suffering through the hands of poor parenting, such as neglect and abuse. If a child is met with an unstable living conditions, some will help to arrange and look for foster families. School social workers. 
These school social workers work with the educational staff, such as teachers, school administrations, and parents to improve students' academic performance, as well as the social development the students are receiving. They also help with difficulties surrounding their students' lives outside of academics, such as bullying and anger issues. School social workers are in charge to help the students that require special attention, such as children with autism, ADHD, and Down syndrome, to make sure these kids with disabilities get the proper education they need. Mental health and substance abuse social workers. These, as their name implies, uh, help clients with mental illness or addictions. Usually they let their clients aware of and suggest support groups or 12-step programs that they can take to handle their issues, bottled emotions, or addictions. Healthcare social workers. Healthcare social workers recognize their client's diagnosis and how to help them accordingly. They adjust to their client's illness with housing, lifestyle, and healthcare opportunities. They will try to offer more information about home, health care, and support groups to help clients understand and take the necessary steps to cure their illness. Healthcare social workers also aid doctors to understand the emotional or mental health their patients are suffering due to their sickness. All right, so our next slide is about the environment of the teacher. Well, the environment of a teacher really depends on the students and how he communicates and is able to get along with them and also with the, with the co-workers. So basically, if a teacher doesn't really get along, he's gonna, the teacher's going to be stressing a lot, he's going to be having a lot of problems and a lot of distractions, and he won't be able to teach the students properly. While on the other hand, if he gets along, he or she gets along with the students, the class is going to go smooth, and he's going to be able to teach everything properly and cover what he needs to throughout the day. What is a social worker environment? Social workers mostly work in a regular office, but may be spending their working hours visiting clients, other social workers, or community specialists. A social worker's job is full-time employment and have a busy schedule. In some cases, they have to work night shifts, weekends, and even holidays to help clients in need or attend meetings. A social worker environment may vary depend on where they are located and what they have to do. Ultimately, it goes back to the four different types of social worker you are in occupation with that determines your environment. While yes, a lot of them are required to work in the office, but another part of the job is out meeting with clients, such outside meeting activities that change the work environments are family and children social workers having to be meeting in different homes to help families and children in need. School social workers uh, typically have to be switching between school to school to help out the most students they can and make sure there's balance in students' mental health and academics. Mental health and substance abuse social workers have to switch from a clinical and non-clinical setting to aid clients set in different hospital clinics or even home so that everyone struggling with addiction and or mental health gets the aid they need. Healthcare social worker environment changes usually always in the hospital setting aiding the ones that are sick and need of emotional and mental health needs. As we see for all these social work environments, all of them have a different but common thing. <laughs> How to become a social worker. A bachelor's degree is the most common degree for entry level social worker positions. Bachelor of Social Work or better labeled as BSW programs, each teach their students about the unique community, human behavior, social welfare, and basis ethics in social work. All these programs that I mentioned, these students must meet field work or an internship as a requirement to pass. Clinical social, clinical social workers or healthcare social workers usually need a master's degree in social work. Master's social pr work programs are better known as MSW programs. Prepare students in their desired specialty by increasing their clinical evaluation and diagnosis skills. A bachelor degree is acceptable in almost any field. Some common majors would include social services, psychology, and social science. Also, a recommendation of coursework would include sociology, economics, and political science. A fair few programs will allow graduates with a bachelor's degree in social work to earn their master's degree as a little to two years. After acquiring an MSW degree, a clinical social worker has to complete mandatory supervised training and experience. The overall length of a clinical training in social work varies between state to state, but may very well take several years. Now that I mentioned how one becomes a social worker, I believe it's time to talk about what are some important skills to have or develop for one trying to be a social worker. Communication skills aid social workers in being able to provide help by being able to listen and understand their clients' problems and how to act accordingly. Interpersonal skills allow social workers to adopt healthy and productive relationships with clients, coworkers, and other support specialists with different beliefs and personalities. 
Since social workers can have many clients, organizational skills can help manage all the paperwork and documenting of their treatment. Problem solving skills help analyze their clients' complex and diverse situations and can aid them by developing practical solutions. So, how to become a teacher? Basically, what you need for this profession is not really much. What you really need is a bachelor's degree, a major, and any subject that you wish to have. Um, it also needs a good background check, meaning that you're not allowed to have any really records or things like that, bad things that you've done throughout your life. Another thing you need to do is pass a, cert a certification of t for teaching. So in other words, a proof that you're qualified to teach other people and be able to take care of them during the class activity, during school time. And the last thing you need is to complete a student teaching program. In other words, you gotta be able to, well, not gotta be able to, but you need to uh, see how a teacher does things and things like that. Learn the daily life with, of a teacher while you're see, seeing them. All right, now that we've uh, gone over on what a social worker is and what they do, how much money does a social worker make necessarily? I want to be in this future career because I have a passion, that's great. Now the important question is how much money will I be making doing what I love, and is it enough? The median yearly pay of a social worker is around $50,000. Median wages of the different kinds of social worker, healthcare social workers is $61,000. Uh, family, child, and school social workers is around 49,000, and the same would be for mental health and substance abuse social workers. So, what is the amount a teacher gets paid? Well, the median job of a teacher gets paid $61,820 per year with a two months break, which is summer, but that's not really optional. You're, you're able to teach classes in the summer, which will get you a higher pay, pay raise. And also, the more degrees you have in this profession, the more you're gonna get paid really. So it all really depends on how much you studied and how much effort you want to put into your job. All right. Now, what is the job outlook of a social worker? What is the demand for one? According to the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, employment of the field of a social worker is projected to be projected to increase by 12% between 2021 and 2031, which means there will be an estimate of around 78,000 job openings each year. The reason why there's quite a lot of openings each year in the field of social work is because social workers in this belonged field decide to retire or simply just change career paths. With the population of our world aging, there's always an increased need for social workers. There's always going to be a high demand for mental health and substance abuse addiction social workers since there is always people seeking treatment for poor mental health and substance abuse problems. Additionally, there is an increase of drug offenders being sent to treatment programs which are staffed with substance abuse social workers rather than being sent to jail. A teacher's job outlook. The estimated increase of, of jobs is gonna be 5% from the year 2021 to 2031. The reason for this is because also like social workers, the amount of population is going to increase, meaning there's gonna, not, there's gonna be a need for more teachings for other students and things like that. And there's a total of about 78,000 jobs opening per year. The reason why there's so many is because of the retirement, uh, the retired p teachers and the teachers that think that that's not really the career and they decide to take another pathway and pursue other things in life. All right, we're gonna have to cut here. So what is the degree plan of our associate's degree in our respective fields? Mine would be uh, the first year in the fall semester, I'm required to take Comp 1, Elementary Statistical Methods, United States History, Mexican American History, Learning Framework, and Introduction to Sociology. The first spring semester, Composition 2, United States History 2, Mexican American History, Social Problems, Creative Arts Elective, General Psychology. For the fall, second year of the fall semester, Language, Philosophy, and Cultural Elective, Federal Government, Life and Physical Sciences Elective, Introduction to Social Work, Lifespan, Growth and Development, 
my second year of the spring semester, Texas Government Life and Physical Science elective, Social Welfare, Legislation Programs and Services, Marriage and the Family and Academic Cooperative. So the teaching degree plan for head to 12th grade is here. The, the class required uh, for the first semester is Composition 1, Math, United States History or Mexican American History, Public Speaking and Learning Frameworks. For the, for the same year, on the spring semester, the things I will have to take is Composition 2, History of United States Part 2, or the second part of the Mexican American History, General Psychology, Creative Art Elective, and Concentration Elective. For my second year, on the fall semester, the, the are Language, Philosophy, and Culture Elective, Federal Government, Life and Physical Science Elective, Concentration Elective, and Intro to the Teaching for, of Profession. In the second year spring semester is Texas Government Life and Physical Science Elective, Communication ele Concentration Elective, con another one, another Concentration Elective, Intro to Special Populations. These are the required classes to get a bachelor degrees in teaching. And this would be a social work uh, and how to get the bachelors of said social work. And it would be all these classes that you see in front of me. And then I also would also have to take some of these. Yes. And our overall GPA, well, which one mine would be, would be an average of 4.0. And my And due to technical difficulties, my GPA wouldn't show, so I had to make calculations by hand. Which would be 2.84. Yeah. All right, and these would be our resumes for right now. So, why, the reason why I should be hired. Helping community is something that I've done on my own free time. I've volunteered many community service Activities such as food banks, babysitting, and picking up trash from the streets. I should hire to be social worker for my compassion towards people and willing to do anything it takes to help my clients. Work experience that I have. Uh, I was a server at Olive Garden till October 2021 or around February. And I would greet and welcome customers. I assisted people with deciding what they maybe wanted to eat, you know, all that. And I would also provide excellent customer service no matter what, who I was dealing with. I was an office clerk for my mom's business, Angels Tax Service, to December 22 to March 2023. What I would do is I would make, I would open the office, I would make appointments, and I would also call out to people that my mom just couldn't unfortunately get to at the time, and I would also clean up the work area. And my education, I graduated uh, Los Fresnos High School around September 2022, and I passed high school. Uh, student in college, I am passing with high grades from January 23 to currently this year. And skills that I have that I would think are pretty good. Um, I have customer service skills, I've been do, I've been doing I've dealt with a good amount of customers for a good while, and cleaning I've done my I've dabbled in cleaning before, <laughs> and emotional intelligence I have as I discussed back in my other slide, fluid reading and writing as I discussed in the other one, teamwork I can work with mostly anybody, and follow superiors I always listen to the instructions that are given me to my superiors, uh, I have worked with quite a few exotic animals mostly ponies, horses, and basically any kind of farm animal. And cognitive control, since I've been here in college, I've been learning more about cognitive control, critical thinking has also helped, and I do possess social skills. Uh, activities that I do in my own time, working with animals, exercising, and reading. And right here is my resume. This is my address, my phone number, and my email. <laughs> wait, 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 cut! The reason you should hire me is because um, well, you, the only thing you're gonna receive from me are the best work I can give, and you're also gonna receive a lot of compliments about my classes of how I work, how well I teach. Well, my experiences here are my my current jobs like that I once I had. This one's right now I'm a cashier at a place called Saturday Munchies, and I started 
in this year, 2023 in January. And things I do are charge clients, mix the snacks, and clean the areas that are the outsides and the insides, since we prefer snacks and, well, we don't want to ants there. And the other half job I had was on May 2019 to March 2021. My job in this company, Varga, was basically packaging. I would package candy, seal boxes, and load up the boxes to a truck so they can be delivered to different stores. And the case education here that I've had is I graduated from Lopez Early College High School on August 2022, and I graduated with the NKG certification and really joined all the sports they had there. And right now, I'm currently a student at Texas, at South, Southmost, wait, at TSE. And I, well, I'm passing out my class, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and so I have leadership, communications, I'm also bilingual, and I have, I'm good at making decisions and I have social skills, meaning I'm able to make friends or talk with anyone really. And my acti the activities I do right now is work out, at the gym and work and take care of my siblings. All right, now these are interview questions that we would like to ask towards our future career oppositions. Uh, one for me, social workers, the question that I would like to ask is, how do you help your mind when dealing with crazy situations? And I ask this because it is there is a lot of things that go on, so it's good to know like how to relieve your mind and stuff like that. What do you recommend to do when all the work starts to become stressful? What are like some things that you'd like to do to calm yourself down in dealing in these intense situations? Have you ever met clients who take advantage of what social worker does? There's a lot of people that like to take advantage in the world, especially with help. So it's good to see, I'd like to hear what that would be with my question. Which places would you recommend I volunteer before I social work? This, I asked, but this would be my question because I'm curious, like maybe, you know, there's some things I could do to increase like my knowledge on this exact uh, career option. What is the best and worst part of being a social worker? How do I balance personal life with the busy hours of being a social worker? In my current, current research, it seems it is full-time employment, so a lot of demanding hours, so I'm just curious how they do that. Uh, what mindset do you think would be the best for stu students pursuing their bachelor's for social work? As I saw in my bachelor's degree, that's a lot of work. So I'm curious, like, how do you balance all that stuff out? If you had to make an overall estimate, how many people do you think you have helped per year? This is more of a personal question, as in I'd like to do the best I can. So it's good to know that kind of thing. And on this side, we have the um, questions I would like to ask to the teacher, which are, what age group do you prefer to teach, since there's different variations on the actions student takes depending on the age and the stages you're going through. Another question is, what's the best part of the job? What's the thing that really they really like to do? And the other question is, how do you recommend me to be with, with new students? Like, when I become a teacher, I'm not really going to be that experienced as a teacher. So I want to ask, what's recommended for me to do? What's the hardest part of its job? And the other, this other four questions are, does the job require a lot of work hours to grade assignments? What is the best way to deal with students who are not listening? What is the latest you can get to work? And what actions should be taken on a lockdown? Now, this is from all our research, what did we learn? What did we learn about our desired uh, future careers? Well, I'm gonna talk about what I learned first. What I learned about my future career is that a social worker is a very demanding job that requires quite a lot of skills and requirements to be met, as we saw in my bachelor's <laughs> plan. This career path will take a lot of social work and, uh, cut, <laughs> I messed up. All right, so what did exactly we learn and our research about our future career plan? What I learned about my future career is that social work is a very demanding job that requires quite a lot of skills and requirements to be met, as we saw in my bachelor's degree plan. This career path will take a lot of work and dedication. I learned that there are many kinds of job opportunities to help with other than CPS, such as school, substance abuse, and healthcare, as I mentioned. 
I also learned that the demand of social worker is also increasing due to the population always increasing in case with uh, 78,000 job openings per year. Also learned that the pay of, a, pay of an average social worker and that medical social workers would acquire a master. Before starting my initial research, I was unaware of the school, mental health, and substance abuse ones. The things that I learned on this research project, I learned that uh, learning how to cooperate with other people is a really important task, task because sometimes you're gonna need help from, uh, from coworkers or things like that. I also um, learned that the people you're around with are the ones that really choose your environment, your work environment, because the more the more you get along with other people, the better your environment's gonna be. And sometimes you can even become good friends and push you to do better things and learn more things. The takeaways that both of us have uh, learned, and I would hope that you get away from this uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, different kinds of social workers. There are about four. Uh, school, mental health abuse, uh, family and children's services, and healthcare ones. Social work, work environment. As we see, they work mostly as a typical you know, office, but they also go around, move around from different places, depending on where the clients would happen to be. Social work demand. It's quite a bit of, uh, uh, there's quite a high demand for social workers, about 78,000 job openings per year. Bachelors and associates. We mentioned uh, the bachelors and associates that we would need for this desired field and our resumes on how it would look if we would be looking to enter these jobs as of right now. And here the, the key takeaways are the teacher's jobs, uh, basically what the teacher does and also the teacher's environment, how it affects the way of a teacher teaches, a teacher's wage and I also was able to expand my my reason why I want to become a teacher. And the last thing is, well, the things we really learn about each other's desired fields. So. And these would be our references as you see. And that's, that's it. it. And thank you for this presentation. My name is Miguel Pina. This is my friend uh, and also who helped me with uh, my group project, Isaac Pacheco. Hope you like the our presentations on our future careers and have a good day.